Hello everyone, my name is Dylan Foster and we're going to be doing something a little different today. We're not going to be doing our Pro in a month. We are going to be playing a very, very deep and rather quite saddening game called Spec Ops The Line. Now this game, when it came out, it wasn't known for its gameplay. Its gameplay was rather quite mediocre. They, they didn't really, people didn't enjoy um, playing the game. However, the storyline behind it and the choices it puts you through um, change your, change your, changes how you think about games in general, and I think it's a really good game to share with you guys, so we're going to hop straight into it, and I will talk to you after the intro. So one thing which I do like about this game is you do get thrown like straight into the deep end. So this is like an interactive intro which I wish more games did, however very few do. Is John Conrad the greatest man I ever served with? Well, I don't know. There was this one time in Kabul when he dragged my bleeding carcass half a mile to an evac chopper. So maybe I'm biased. But the facts don't lie. The man's a fucking hero. Remember when the first storms hit Dubai? You're probably all safe and sound at home watching TV. Well, Conrad was leading the damn 33rd out of Afghanistan. Instead of coming home, he volunteered his entire battalion to help with the evac. Bet all you did was send a check. Rumor is Conrad was ordered to abandon the city. He defied that order, and the 33rd stood with him. Now, the official story's still hazy, but what happened next? All we know for sure is that the storms got worse. Much worse. Last thing we heard out of Dubai was that Conrad was leading a caravan of survivors out of the city. 
That was six months ago. Then, two weeks ago, we picked up this transmission. This is Colonel John Conrad, United States Army. Has been evacuation of Dubai and been in complete failure. Death toll. Hey, Cap. Captain Walker. What is it, Lugo? I got a situation, sir. Mission critical? No, sir. Then take it up the chain, Sergeant. Roger that. Lieutenant Adams. I hear you, Sergeant. What's your status? Status is chafed, sir. You say chafed, Sergeant? Yes, sir. A local airborne insurgency has infiltrated the U.S. zone designated as my pants. Sir. <laughs> Shut up. Jackass. Gentlemen, welcome to Dubai. Yep. It's still dead. Yet to be seen, Sergeant. You got a lock on that transmission? Yes, sir. About 800 yards away. And we're 800 yards away from seeing who's more full of shit. You or Intel. Wow. If I wasn't a hard and killing machine, I might have hurt. Remember, this place has been designated a no-man's land, which means we're not supposed to be here. Chapter so 1, the, books, the okay? evacuation. Roger, so, Roger. I, I, okay, grab this game, it's still like, even though I've already played through it once, it still surprises me with some of the stuff now check your sights. it's managed to do. Any movement? Nah, we're clear. Like, for the Good. games, the game's rather old, yet it's still, it still holds up to, to, to today's standards, in my opinion. And just... Wow. Look at him. What look look at Dubai stays in this whole area. It's quite Come on, surreal let's just in my find opinion. A way down. You got it. Like we see Dubai now, and it's like a place full of like rich, rich business people driving like you know Lamborghinis and all that. And then you look at this now, and it's Wee. like a desolate wasteland. That's enough, Lugo. I'm just keeping a light, boss. Yeah, I don't need light. Need you focused on the mission. What mission? We're basically poking a dead dog with a stick. We have our orders. Locate survivors, leave the city immediately. Radio command from outside the storm wall. We send in the cavalry, we go home. Hey, did you guys hear that? I am going to try to uh, be quiet during the important areas, as this game is very much based around storyline, but... Sounds like the transmission. You know, you will hear a bit of me playing through the game. I just heard somebody. Generally through the uh, through the gunplay sections, I'll you'll definitely hey, hear my amazing and beautiful voice. Doctor says what? <laughs> Leave it alone. No one's out there. And what the fuck are we doing? Here? Everyone needs the a logo. Got a point. Life. Oh, you're taking his side now? When he's right, he's right. Hey, command wants us to look around. We look around. I don't know. Sounds like a waste of three stone cold, ruggedly handsome Delta operators such as ourselves. Mm. Think of it as a paid vacation. Well, for future reference, I prefer my beaches with a three to one sexy lady dead body ratio. <laughs> Lugo, do you ever actually hear the shit coming out of your mouth? No, I do not, sir. I find it messes with my rhythm. You know, I hate for it to mess with your rhythm. Someone should see how sexy I've been. Colonel John oh, Conrad. Oh, this looks like the place. United States Army. Looks yep, fresh. Which is looking kind for. of concerning. What's that supposed to be? It's a distress beacon, but it ain't military. Someone built this out of spare parts. Any idea who? No, not a fucking clue. God damn it. Still dripping. Walker. You better come see this. Oh fuck! Oh, that's that's, that's not putting good. it lightly. The soldier. Body looks fresh. It is. Even worse, he's thirty third. Mm. Who did this? Probably like the same people been jumped. ghosting us. Well, that doesn't answer the question. Don't worry. 
I think we're about to find out. Oh, here we go. Hello. My name is Captain Martin Walker. We're looking for survivors. Why? So you can kill us too? Uh, I do something Christ. stupid. You speak Farsi? Maybe we can understand each other better. I got in Torim half a Zanim. Good call, Lugo. This could go south Mo real fast, Walker. Oh, shit. Let me hear you guys. You see that bus over there? It's filled with sand. Push comes to shove, shoot out the windows. Might give us an advantage. No. Fuck when you gun jams there. Let's go, right? It's a radio command. Give him the news. Be my guest. I'm sure they'll stop shooting so you can make a phone call. Gentlemen, let's talk before shooting. He's done. Bring your left. More coming over the dune. Empty that bus. On it. Go, go, go. Got it! Moving to clear! Neutralized! It's clear! Come on! Keep moving. Out the back. Grenade! Take cover! Where's he hiding? Billboard across the way. Give me the word and I'll take him out. Lugo, take him out. Yes, sir. One of the things I also like about this game is that you can use your teammates as like, they've got like abilities, I guess, which you can use to change the tide of war. And when you get headshots, uh, time slows down, which is always awesome. Hurt. I thought we were rescuing people. So much for that. The hell was that? I'm picking up a distress call. Batch it through. 33rd dispatch. This is Alpha Patrol. We're under attack. Repeat. The insurgents have us surrounded. Request immediate assistance. Damn. Ah! Shit. Mark's it down. We need backup. Lugo, distance. About a hundred yards away. Let's move. Gun it. Reloading. Oh god, let's not gun it. Get cover. Go, go, go. go. Flank that turret and take it out. He's shielded. We can't hit him. Target neutralized! On the shack! 12 o'clock! I see him moving! Again, your gun jams, you're screwed. Target eliminated. This way. Mayday! Mayday! This is Alpha Patrol, requesting immediate assistance. Is anyone out there? Alpha, if you can hear me, we're approaching your position. Oh, fuck. Thank fucking Christ. I, I think Martin's dead. Are you hurt? Is anyone else with you? There's four of us. We're okay, but we're running out of ammo. Can't keep them back for much longer. Okay, stay cool. We're almost there. Let's get to these guys before... What do we got? Our guys are pinned down before in the bad things happen. We ain't been spotted yet. Might want to equip silencers. Good call. Take them out what before they see it. Fucking what? They're fucking reloading. Oh. Hostile down. Kill confirmed. Keep moving. But keep a low profile. Sleep tight. Okay. Got to re-up. Oh, 
because they found us. I told you. Oh god, oh no, run, get into cover. This game is really hard, even on normal, this is on normal difficulty in two yeah, hits one. and I'm already like one hit away from death, so very tactical as well. Oh, oh god, where, where the shotgunner, there he is. Oh, that's a rocket launcher. Shot. That was another headshot. Got you back. Oh, New shot. Shot. We got more coming from the rear of the plane. Get the, Get the silencer on. It makes it a bit more. Oh, I'll take it off. I need the damage rather than the slight accuracy. And stay down. Out of ammo on this gun. I need to see if I can grab. Oh, okay. I might just quickly pick this up. Hey, over here! Oh God! God damn it! Let's wreck them. Oh God! Where am I getting shot from? Hello, you're dead. Reload. Another shotgunner. Reloading. Cover me. Another cool feature is that every primary have some sort of specialty, um, special action you can do with it. So this one is you can change it to burst or full auto. The other one obviously had the silence off, and we'll see more later down the track. Oh no. Shit, got a hostage situation. Right, calm down back and to let this. Go. Don't do this. Hurry up, Walker. Don't do this. Target neutralized. Hostile down. Ah. You're gonna have to talk fast, boss. He's fading. We're here to help. Just stay with me, all right? Forget me. They took McPherson. You gotta find him. We will, but I need you to tell me where they took him. <clears throat> they took him to the nest. 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 All right, good. And what about Conrad? Is he still alive? <gasps> God damn it. Lugo, mark the bodies on tech. Adams, check outside for tracks. <sighs> I want to know what the hell is going on in this city. She can't save everyone. Got multiple tracks headed north. Then we follow them. Not to argue, but this ain't exactly within our mission parameters. Yeah, well, our mission went from recon to rescue the minute we found U.S. soldiers butchered. Fucking orders. I like it. Orders ain't worth following if it means leaving people to die, Lugo. Conrad's still alive. I think he is. I know he'd agree with me. Tracks end here. Guess this is the nest. Yeah, it's quaint. Very post-apocalyptic. Just don't get cocky. Remember, these guys already took out four soldiers and kidnapped another. So, this has been Spec Ops The Line. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We will be continuing with Chapter 2, The Dune, in the next episode. And I will see you guys then.